Hi. <laughs> so that was a, a bit of an epic fail because I I don't know if you saw my video earlier, but I said I would do this via YouTube today. But apparently you when you first group to do live streaming on YouTube, you have to have a verified account and I hadn't verified my account so I've just verified my account and then it tells me it takes 24 hours post verification to be able to do live streaming so I'm so sorry for anyone who's joined me on YouTube I apologize but we're gonna have to come back onto Facebook for now and try YouTube another day sorry so and then I also can't stream YouTube on my on my phone either I have to do it on my laptop so anyway we have a few people with us 11 people so I'm, I'm so sorry for the people who are waiting for me on YouTube so reading David Williams the slightly annoying elephant So that's the picture of the first book. I'll show you the pictures after every page as well. Oh, and another disclaimer. My baby daughter, Yelena, is, you could probably hear her, she's, I don't, I don't know what is wrong with her today, but she's having a terrible day. She's been screaming and crying all day and she only wants to be next to me and so you can hear I apologize she's probably gonna hear screaming throughout the entire reading but she's just being like really awful today anyway here we go one day there was a loud knock on the door Sam ran down the stairs to open it was it his mum back from the shops was it a friend was it the postman no it was an elephant, a great, big, gigantic, ginormous elephant. Hello, Sam, he said. There he is. How do you know my name? said Sam. You adopted me, don't you remember? Well, I, I filed it and adopted an elephant form at the zoo B but spluttered Sam the last thing he was expecting was the elephant to actually turn up on his doorstep there he is filling in the form how do you get here all the way from Africa asked Sam on a plane of course silly boy the airline was very rude. They made me buy two seats. Now, if you will excuse me, I need to take a bath, announced the elephant. He pushed past Sam and made his way upstairs to the bathroom, knocking all the pictures off the walls as he went. There he goes breaking all the stairs. Because the elephant was so big, all the water from the bath flooded the bathroom floor. What's more, he used all the soap and all the towels. Instead of hanging the towels up afterwards, he left them strewn across the floor. I'm hungry, demanded the elephant. What do elephants eat? asked Sam. Food, silly boy! Sam sped into the kitchen and rummaged through the fridge and all of the cupboards. He poured all the food in the house into a massive pot and gave it a stir. Quickly, please, called the elephant from the living room. There he is making all the food. For the elephant. As fast as 
he could, Sam raced into the living room where the elephant was sitting on Dad's armchair. Without a word, the elephant dumped his trunk in the pot and slurped up all the food in one go. Now I have had my starter. What's the main course? he asked. Later, it was time for Sam's favourite cartoon to come on the television. The elephant was snoring loudly. And there was a boring show about antiques on. So, Sam prized the remote control out of the elephant's foot and changed channels. All of a sudden, the elephant woke up. I was watching that, he boomed. You were asleep, protested Sam. I was not. I love shows about antiques. Oh, sorry. Do you collect antiques yourself? Asked Sam. Of course not. I am an elephant, silly boy. When the boring antique show had finally finished, the elephant declared, I need to take some exercise. Exercise? asked Sam. Yes, I need to lose a few pounds. Do you have an exercise bicycle? Yes, but, spluttered Sam. But what? demanded the elephant. Well, it's quite small and, and being an elephant, you might break it. How dare you, boomed the elephant. Now, where is it? So Sam wheeled his brand new bike out of the garage. Please be careful, he pleaded. I know my way around a bicycle, the elephant said. Last year, I won the Tour de France. The elephant climbed onto the bike. As soon as he sat on it, what do you think happened? We'll see. He flattened it. That bicycle was falling to bits, silly boy. After all that exercise, I need a nap, said the elephant. Then he fell asleep in Sam's bed. He is in Sam's bed. Knock, knock, knock. It was the door. Who could it be? Was it his mum back from the shops? Sam hurtled downstairs to greet her. But when he opened the door, he couldn't have been more surprised. A massive herd of elephants! Our friend invited us to stay, said the one with the longest trunk. There were elephants in the kitchen, elephants on the stairs, even elephants in the downstairs loo. Meanwhile, Sam rummaged around in the bedroom for the adopt an elephant form. When he finally found it, he realized something. He should have read the small print. Adopt an elephant. This is what the certificate said that Sam filled out. This certifies that Sam has successfully adopted an elephant. Congratulations! I hereby consent to said elephant coming to live in my house and inviting all his elephant friends to stay. Silly boy. Silly Sam didn't read the small print. That's why you must always read the fine print on anything before you sign your name to anything. Always remember that. So that's the story about The Very Annoying Elephant by David Williams. I apologise for all the screaming in the background of my little daughter.
but I hope you managed to hear me and you managed to still enjoy that. So, I've been reading, I have a, a, a question to ask you guys. So, I've been reading for Ethan what we call big boy books. So, like proper books rather than uh, short stories that can be read all in one go. And we're currently reading a story by Ronald Dahl called George's Marvelous Medicine. And every day or every evening before bed, we read about two chapters and it takes about 25 minutes-ish. So yes, I am going to feed him a bit. And um, he really, really enjoys it. And But of course, we can't read all the book in one sitting. So I wanted to ask if that's something you'll be interested in me doing. So reading a whole book. Every day we read a couple of chapters so the kids look forward to the next installment the next day. Or if you prefer me to read stories like this one that can be finished all in one go. I thought reading the books will be more inclusive of slightly older children as well as the little ones. And it's easier as well because they don't, they don't really have pictures so I could just sit and read it. So... Tell me what you think, or if you prefer if I carry on doing what I'm doing here. Anyway, I need to go and sort Yelena out. You probably heard her screaming. So, take care. Have a lovely day, and join me to tomorrow. I'm going to test out my YouTube again tomorrow to see if it works, but I'll probably do here tomorrow again, because it says it will take 24 hours, which will take me straight up to 1pm, and I don't want to start fiddling with it at the time I'm meant to be going live so i'll probably be here again tomorrow and then on wednesday we will try out the the youtube live again okay take care thank you for joining me bye 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 bye